All right, so I'm gonna give you an overview of my pedal board and the sounds that I use, the tones that I like to use uh, like when I'm playing. So from my guitar, I go into my input that I've got on the side. So I've got uh, new trick plugs um, added to the side of my board. So one input and two outputs for my stereo, as well as my power coming from my one spot pedal. So first loop, First pedal in the loop is my Vox. So I don't have my volume as my first, even though it is to the right. It's just to the right more out of convenience than anything else. So I've actually got my Vox as my first, which is my wah pedal. And without it, with the wah, self-explanatory. It's got a really, really nice sound to it. Out of the Vox, we go into the compressor. So I've got the CMAT mods, Signa Compressor, well, Comp, and it uh, just really creates a really nice tone, a really bright sound to my mix. Compressor, so I've got a really nice sustain on it as well, so it just makes my notes sound a lot longer. Out of the compressor, we go into my overdrive section of my board. So I've got three overdrive pedals going in order from lowest overdrive to the highest overdrive into your distortions, I guess. Uh, first one is the Voodoo Labs Sparkle Drive pedal. Creates just a really nice, subtle distortion while having, so that's actually a clean knob here as well, so the clean sound comes through it. Maybe a bit too much, so let's take some gain off, we'll put a bit of clean up. So the Ibanez Tube Screamer. So let's put a bit more overdrive on it. This is the TS-808, by the way. A bit more overdrive. Just my tone, put the volume up a bit. Occasionally I like to have the two on at the same time, the sparkle and the tube screamer. Turn that, let me turn that down, the overdrive. I like it a little bit more subtle. Alright, from there we go into the rat distortion. A lot bigger, a lot dirtier sound. Maybe it's a bit too loud. Uh, really crunchy distortion, really nice for your solos, you know, if you throw in a wire in there as well. Whoops. Okay, that is the rat. Really nice for your lead parts as well. I, I use it from time to time. Uh, just creates a really nice big sound. From the rat, we move over to my volume pedal, which is all the way on the right. So I've actually got a cable underneath to go out of that into my volume. Okay, out 
of the back of the uh, the volume pedal itself. That is the Ernie Ball uh, VP pedal. Uh, we go. We've got a tuner out that goes into my Polytune TC Electronic Mini tuner. Great little tuner, smallest one on the market at the time. Uh, and yeah, excellent tuner. I like to have it out of my loop, just out of convenience. It is a true bypass pedal, so it wouldn't affect my tone either way. But this way, I can actually have it on all the time as well, uh, and it doesn't affect my loop. It won't mute anything either. All right. So out of if we go back to the volume from the volume, we go all the way to my delays on this side. So the first one is a TC Electronic Nova delay. Creates really really nice delay sounds. You've got your manual knob. You've got your presets as well. So let's just go to say preset number one. I'll turn my distortion on. has a number of, um, so I guess, tap delay tempo, so you can adjust the tempo, what sort of tempo you want. So for example, okay, so you can adjust those manually, save those in. You've got your mod mods as well, so your modulated um, effects on top of your delay, and then you've got different types of delay as well. So uh, I'm actually running this stereo, so it goes into my pedal in the mono standard, goes out stereo, and by going out stereo, I'm running it into two amps, and there's like a great ping pong effect, for example, that goes between the two amps. So if you're running in stereo, it'll ping pong the delay across the two amps. Uh, out of that, we go stereo again into the DD7 digital delay, which is a Boss DD7 pedal with this attached um, tap tempo there as well. So you've got your standard, right, your standard delay. I like to sometimes have two delays on top of each other to just create a really nice ambient sort of sound. So that is the two delays. Now out of this delay, which is essentially my last or my second last pedal, we've got stereo out. One of the outputs goes directly into one of my amps. The other output goes through the Ditto Looper pedal by TS Electronics out to my second amp. All right. So this is a great little looper pedal. So it just loops, uh, it'll record some samples for example and then just loop them over. Mm -hmm. So let's give that a shot. So let's put a bit of delay on it. Put two delays. All right, you can then adjust the volume. Hope you enjoyed that. If you find that video helpful, give me a thumbs up and feel free to shoot me a comment if you need any help or any advice on some stuff. Thanks for watching.